Hello, ladies and gentlemen, tis I, Michael A. Grimm, a.k.a. the Multivoice. I have many voices, but one opinion. And, um, I got a big announcement to make, ladies and gentlemen. You see, you see, um, I know it's October, and of course my favorite holiday, Halloween, is coming up. So, um, I'm trying to plan a good, another Halloween special because any of you who ever watched my show in the past, I know some of you pretty much enjoyed my very first audio drama, that Halloween special, multi-voice reviewer, Halloween special, Scare Crazy. And for those of you who kind of missed that Halloween special, there's going to be a link popping up in this video soon. So, um, can't miss it. But right now... For those of you who wants to know about my next Halloween special, the next Halloween special I'm going to be planning to do, it's going to be, as you can see from my shirt, a Doctor Who one. Now, uh, for those of you who are wondering what kind of a Halloween special it's going to be, well, this one is called Doctor Who Multivoice Saga Frankenstein's Immortality. That's right. My doctor is going to be dealing with Frankenstein. And I know some of you are going to be saying uh, that cannot be canon because uh, on the Big Fish audio series of uh, Doctor Who, the doctor already has Mary Shelley as his companion. Well, this is a... but uh, I'm part of the uh, Gallifrey multiverse, and on this multiverse... Frankenstein and Mary Shelley existed. I mean, hell, I mean, have any of you ever seen uh, Frankenstein Unbound? In that movie, uh, John Hurt's character, he played a scientist who traveled through time and meet Dr. Frankenstein and Mary Shelley and the monster. So why not this can happen to the doctor? So my doctor is going to meet uh, Frankenstein. But not just Frankenstein, I'm also going to meet Nikola Tesla. Because back then, I wanted to do a story about Nikola Tesla meet Frankenstein. And I had that idea in my head for a long, long time, until when I started uh, joining the first Doctor Who group and became the Doctor. I was trying to think of what uh, episode, what adventure my Doctor's going to go through. And then I thought to myself, Frankenstein and Tesla. So I uh, did some research on history on Tesla and some researches on uh, Frankenstein. And then I thought up this interesting story that I think you guys are going to like. In this one, and one thing you should know, it's a prequel. Because I've been planning this uh, episode for a long, long time. I've written the scripts. I recorded all the lines. But I never edited it. I thought I would find somebody to edit it for me until I discovered um, Audacity. And um, and believe it or not, I didn't uh, ask anybody to do the voices of the characters. Because I wanted to uh, put myself into a challenge. So it is a one-man show. So in the script, there are seven characters. Seven characters! And I have done over 100 lines. I know. I mean, that's very surprising for somebody like me. I mean, I don't call myself the multi-voice for nothing. So it's going to be on the... So it's going to be a prequel where my doctor, after I regenerated, my doctor starts doing my first mission. I end up in Germany in Grads University and meet uh, young 20-year-old Nikola Tesla. And I start noticing that somebody in that uh, mansion is Frankenstein. Now, I'm not one for spoilers, but I should let you know, the headmaster, he goes by the name of Nepsnik Narf. And Nepsnik Narf is Frankenstein, spelled backwards. I took the premise of Dracula and Alucard and use it for Frankenstein. And, um... And, of course, in this story, Dr. Frankenstein, not the monster, because the monster was never, was never named Frankenstein. 
Believe it or not, if you ever read Mary Shelley's book, the monster was named Adam. Who for thought? And uh, Frankenstein was a scientist. But now, in that year when I end up meeting Nikola Tesla, Frankenstein is like um, 90 years old, 91. And he's getting so old that he's planning to um, play God once again by becoming a god with his new body. So it's up, and they're trying to tempt Tesla into succeeding by helping Frankenstein. But me as the doctor, I tried to help Tesla and put a stop to Frankenstein. And that's how the story's going to go. And that's what uh, Frankenstein Immortality is going to be all about. Now, I'm not going to be spoiling the rest of it because I don't want to spoil everything on you. And, um, I mean, I've been uh, working on that episode for a very, very, very long time. Way before Grandma passed away. So, um, I finally was able to edit it and finally finished it. And decided to become my next Halloween special for you guys. And it's going to be a prequel. And I'm also, I've also written the script for picking up where that episode left off. So it's going to be sort of a, sort of a sequel in a way. It's going to be the latest episode on the second one. We're on this one called The Cult of Frankenstein. The Cybermen helped Frankenstein become a god by giving him the electricity he wanted, and now he controls the Cybermen, but one Cyberman is going to betray the others and become my first companion and discover that that Cyberman is a girl. Voiced by my uh, ex-girlfriend Jocelyn from the Philippines, I decided to make the companion be Philippines because not many people never thought that uh, Doctor Who has a Filipino companion. So I figured, what the hell? Her name is Hannah, Japanese for flower. And um, and I'm also looking for some other girls to uh, do the voice of the other women. Because uh, on the second episode, The Call of Frankenstein, I'm going to be doing most of the guys' voices while I'll have my, while I have other girls do their voices for the female characters. My ex-girlfriend Jocelyn has the role of my first companion, Hannah, while I have um, somebody else do the voice of the um, the um, the minister from Gallifrey and Mary Shelley. I decided to put Mary Shelley into the story and also the monster, which I call him Adam. So I pretty much rounded up uh, Mary Shelley and Adam to stop Frankenstein. And an army of Cybermen. And that is my uh, thing for the day. And believe it or not, this is going to... I mean, I always love Halloween and I love Doctor Who. So, this Doctor Who episode is going to be my first... Halloween special. So... Not many people never even thought about making a Halloween special on Doctor Who, so... I mean, I know I met others who did, but I want to do my own, so... And also, I am going to be planning on doing some uh, multi-voice ween. It's just sadly, I still cannot do the mummy because I don't have any of the costumes or mask or makeup for my multi-voice ween. Although, I was lucky that I... Save this shirt. I just wish I had my leather jacket and my Halloween hat. But uh, this is my announcement for the day, ladies and gentlemen. And any of you like what I was... If any of you like this announcement, please leave a comment down below. Hit like and subscribe for more. And I'm the multi-voice reviewer. I remember it so I can jog your memory.